Hello, and thank you for joining us for this presentation. In this presentation, we are going to be demonstrating Alfresco 1 and Activity, ECM and BPM coming together. On the screen, you have two of our previous videos, the Activity Overview video, that's in the upper left hand corner. This is a video we put together to give people an overview, understanding of Activity, its capabilities, what it can do, demonstration of our equipment request workflow. In the lower right, we have our analytics video. In this video, you'll be able to see exactly how the built-in analytics work, what you can do from the standpoint of tracking status on completed tasks, uh, be able to see if you're meeting SLAs, service level agreements, in terms of processing time, how long it takes to go off and do a particular task. Okay, So I encourage you to take a look at these videos. They'll give you a little more depth into what you can do with activity. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is taking the same workflow that's used in both of these videos, that would be the equipment request workflow, and in that one, we're going to be accessing it from within Share. So we're basically going to take the same capabilities that you've seen in these BPM videos with the equipment request workflow, but accessing it all through Share. Basically, allowing people to see you can build an entire workflow, deploy it, never write a lick of code, and have a productive and intelligent workflow process. Here we are in Alfresco 1 with the A storage dashboard. All right, and my activity tasks, this is my activities dashlet. All right, one workflow right here I'm working on, my vacation request. Now let me go off and hit start workflow. And of course, a familiar face for those of you who are working with activity. And here are my available workflows. We'll use the hardware request workflow, and I'll simply hit start process. And if I go to show diagram, as you can see, this is that same workflow that we've talked about and you've seen in the activity BPM demos. So I'll hit close. I'm going to go back to home. And in this example, of course, I've routed it to myself. So here's the hardware request task I need to work on. I'll click on it, of course. And here's my form and equipment needed. Uh, I want a really fast computer. And then from here, I'll choose desktop. And the amount we'll make is $1,200. Okay, now one it's also new equipment. Now the other big difference is see this reference documents selecting a file. Now when I hit select file, where am I? I am in share. So I'm right in Alfresco here, and I can go find and select my document to include in this particular workflow. And I hit OK and I hit submit. And as you can see, now I'm presented with my next task, which is the approval task. Okay, so the key things to note here is we were able to execute this workflow, its entire process, from within Share. Now, if I go back to Activity, here we are with Activity, and I'll refresh real quick. Here's that hardware request that we just did. As you can see, it was completed by me. Approval request, show diagram. Here's that diagram. It's in green right now because, of course, it has been uh, it is the active task. Blue is what is completed. So you can see the path. Okay. And here's the document that was in there. Nice little reference piece. So again, here I am in activity, simply showing you that the workflow that was built in activity and deployed and so forth is completely accessible from within Share and I'm able to work with it like any other workflow. And of course, as you've seen from the other videos, this workflow was completely built from scratch. So I hope that helps. Key things to note from here, of course, is again, that ability to capitalize on the Activity Workflow Engine to build a pretty nice and robust workflow, all right, and be able to easily deploy it and access it in share without any custom code. I hope you enjoyed the presentation, and please feel free to reach out to us and see how we can help you like we've helped our other clients.